CTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Sluten. In this episode, we're going to talk about UI picker views and the concept of delegation. Okay, the application I have running in the simulator is basically a multiplication table. I have a UI picker view that enables me to pick a number between 0 and 9 for both these columns. And as I change these values, I get different multiplications. 3 times 3 is 9. Three times zero is zero, and so on and so forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the internals of this, and I'm going to use it as both an example of creating a picker view and an example of the use of delegation, which is used quite extensively by pickers. Let's get started. Okay, the picker requires a delegate to implement two protocols. Now, potentially these could be separate objects, but in general, they're the view controller. To begin with, the UI picker view data source, this is a little deceiving. It's not really the information that's displayed. It's really the size, the configuration of the picker. How many columns it has, how many rows it has in each column. The UI picker view delegate is where the information is grabbed from. In other words, what's displayed? Are they views? Are they text? so on and so forth. To fully understand these, I strongly recommend you spend some time in the documentation window. Let's move on. What I have in Xcode is a newly created multiply application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a picker view. You don't want date pickers, you're not picking dates, you're just dragging in a basic picker view. I'm going to select this and I'm going to go over to the inspector. I'm going to select the connections tab. It's one all the way over to the right here, that button. And you'll notice there's two connections listed here. One for the data source and the other one for the delegate. I'm going to control drag from the dot over on the right hand side to the view controller icon on the bottom here. I'm going to reselect the picker view and go over and I'm going to do the other one. Check it. Looks okay. We now have our delegation set up. The view controller is the delegate for both these protocols. Now, since the remainder of the implementation of this application is code, I'm going to jump over to the finished version and talk about the implementation. To understand this, we have to start with a little bit of terminology. In a picker, the columns are referred to as components. The entries in components are referred to as rows. So in other words, this would be component 0, row 0. Over here would be component 1, row 1. Let's jump over to Xcode. In the viewcontroller.h file, the viewcontroller is now conforming to the two protocols. So we have the angle bracket here saying, OK, fine. This class conforms to these two protocols separated by a comma. Jump over to the .m, start looking at the implementation. 
there are some properties here which are outlets. There's one for what I refer to as the product, which is the label, and the picker itself, because I actually have to go ahead and get information from the picker after it changes. Let's start looking at the methods that are implemented as a result of conforming to the protocol. The picker needs to know the number of components. In this case, it's simply two. And the picker has to know the number of rows for each of the components. Now, it turns out it doesn't really matter which component it's asking. In both cases, it's 10, because there's symmetry here. They both just simply range from 0 to 9. The picker is going to need to know what to put in, what to display. You could use views. In this case, I'm simply giving it a string. And the string is basically the row number. So regardless of which picker it is, it's the same. It just varies based on the row. And we just use the standard string with format mechanism. Now once the picker has changed state, in other words, it's actually been selected, i got to change the value of the label. I go grab two numbers, 0 and 1 which are the two things that I'm going to make a product out of. Self picker, because it is a property. Selected row and component 0, in other words, what its value is, and then what it is for component 1. I take those and I write the string self product, which is the label dot text, and I generate a string, which is based on whatever the multiplication is, the product of those two numbers. That's the entire implementation. I hope this gives you a better handle of what delegation is, how to actually connect it up, and what actually happens with the implementation of the protocols that are used for the delegation. Thanks for watching. Keep in mind, this application is on the website. And email feedback is always welcome.